know you fucking crazy! These are what you uh, term as uh, alien graves. Oh my god! Yeah, I call that bullshit. Here with these pictures of these alien graves, I've also included uh, Zeus and his son, Apollyon, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation, otherwise known as Helios. Right. You know, it's all very easy to harp on about particular theories about the devil, the Bible, the book of Revelations, Zeus, Helios, otherwise known as Apollyon. But where are the genuine facts? When you have theories and you select the facts to fill a theory, it's not really factual, truthful information, is it? Now, just to explain to you uh, why I placed their pictures there is because they are the alien greys. Here's the thing, Gorilla 199. They're not fucking aliens. Let me show you what I mean. Always with you, what cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. This here is a picture of um, a demon grey drawn by someone called Alistair Crowley, who was an, an infamous Satanist. Magic. A very sick individual. Stop whining. Um, he was also a Freemason. Are you serious? And a witch. All of these things are 100% confirmed. As far as I can tell, mate, that is bullshit. His uh, face is also featured on, on the Beatles album, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. There's a bald guy in the background there. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah! Um, so, can you see any familiarity in, in that face at all? How about if we turn that face upside down just to have a quick look well here it is upside down and you can kind of make out a kind of face in there sort of a nose there and perhaps a moustache there but that's not really sufficient evidence you're an idiot Alistair Crowley was a Freemason that's true but he was not a Satanist as far as we know he may have been there are many rumors about him rumors set up by Christian people who feared new ideas Introduce a little anarchy. He was heavily involved in the occult, the esoteric, the mystical of the time, which was becoming increasingly popular. But there is no evidence, really, to say he was a evil Satanist. There are some stories, some fictions, but really, that is usually, at least as far as I can tell from my own research, Christian bullshit. He was not evil, he was a seeker of truth, a mystic, not much more really. The Freemason part, you might have something there, but I don't know mate, you're kind of making it up as you go along and twisting the facts, but I expect nothing else. Of lamb, this demon, uh, Grace hey, let's take that as a clue and let's apply it to this guy here, Zeus. He's got a beard, hasn't he? But we can't see an alien grey, can we? Right. Let's do something else. Let's put Lamb back the right way round and let's turn Zeus, the so-called king of the gods, on his head. Can you see what I see? No? Let's zoom in on Zeus's face. Can you see it now? Let's zoom in a bit further. How about now? 
How about new? There's this face here, which is the top half of Zeus's head upside down. Look familiar to you? You, sir, are an idiot. Does it look by any chance like an alien grey? Let's just zoom out a bit again. Do you see the alien grey face there? Those are your alien greys. That's not a face, dumbass. Our souls are not eternal. There's this face here, which is the top half of Zeus's head upside down. Look familiar to you? Oh yes, that's right, folks. Gorilla 199 thinks aliens are upturned heads. What the fuck? But there's further proof. But first of all, let's just take care of the stories about uh, little green men uh, with antennas sticking out of their heads. And for that, we need to look at Zeus's son, Apollyon, the beast from the pit from the Book of Revelation, also known as Helios. Oh, come on. Not that guy again. This Apollyon fellow. This Helios Apollyon thing. Oh, the beast of the pit. Guess what the Bible's made up. Get over it. And since the Bible's made up, all of your theories fall apart. Which means, son, let's turn the destroyer on his head. Once again, upside down, if we take away this part of the destroyer's face, you can see it looks... That's right, your head is like an alien too. So are you an alien demon? I don't think so. Was Zeus? Well, Zeus was a mythical character. Was Apollyon or Helios or any of these characters? Well, they're myths. So, really, you could put anyone's head upside down and say, Oh, I found an alien head. Um, if we take away this part of the destroyer's face, you can see it looks like an alien grey. Um, no it don't mate. Don't work mate. No. Doesn't work. What about the antenna? His pigtails. What about the green skin? Well, if you come from Greece, um, or Italy, around that area, uh, you will have skin the same colour as mine. And my skin colour is called olive. There's only one problem though. Olive is green. You just take the olive, you give it a little tap with the side of a knife. These beautiful orange slices with a black olive puree, a little fennel, a little thyme, a little salt. Oh, olive skin, as in green. As in olive skins, the skins of olives. Do you forget about there's black and green olives? But ignore that. Ignore that. What about the fact that they call it olive skinned because of the oil? The most abundant thing spread around the ancient world was the oil. They used it for bread, they used it for even washing, like with the Greeks and Romans. So olive skinned meant golden skinned, not green skinned. That's bullshit. Plus, another point, the hair on those statues, like uh, ponytails, pigtails and such, it's not antennae. It's hair. I'm not green, am I? Right. So, God called Satan a serpent, and many serpents are green. Green snakes. Green fucking snakes. Oh yes, that's proof. The not-so-green-skinned, olive-skinned people are somehow considered to be the, uh, the green-skinned reptilians, and not all snakes have green skin. So, you're kind of talking shit, aren't you? And maybe that's where that colour came from. But also remember that witches are also depicted as green. Here is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. So according to you, green is bad. Is green always bad? 
Suddenly, is nature, which we see all around us, the plants, trees, is that suddenly all wrong? All, all evil? And of course we've got stories of the green giant. All of these stories relate to this guy here, Apollyon, also known as Helios, and Zeus, who is the model for the stereotypical alien grey. The ancient god Apollyon and Zeus, and Apollyon also being known as Helios, of course, well, it's bullshit. Yes, they knew them as that, as you know your god as being god. But it's simply made up. It's mythology. It's invented. Nothing more. There is no truth. There is no proof. There is simply a level of mythology which many cultures shared and plagiarized off each other. It takes women 20 minutes to reach orgasm. It takes men two minutes. What other fucking proof do you need that there's no God?